I'm Madeline Monaghan and you can call me Maddie. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another monthly wrap-up video. I've got my tea and my wonderful Ben Solo mug that I absolutely love. I don't know if I've shown this mug off enough, but it's basically Ben Solo's one and only tweet and it's just that one line that he has after he uh, turns to the light side again now. Which is honestly how I feel on a daily basis. So I say it's an accurate mug. It is a beautiful uh -huh day outside, hence you can probably hear all the city noises and all that fun jazz, but we are in the 70s today. It is warm, it is toasty, it's so refreshing because it has been so cold and I'm honestly in a really good mood this morning and I'm not entirely sure why. <laughs> I had a pretty rough day at work yesterday and I came home and literally had a little bit of a breakdown because of it but there's something about just letting it all out and then having a whole day off to just enjoy the weather enjoy the sun I think that just makes it all better so I'm here I'm outside I'm listening to the cars go by and the sounds of distant construction and I'm gonna talk about what I did in February and what I'm now looking forward to doing in the month of March. Without further ado, I'm gonna pick my tea back up and take another sip. And we're gonna get started. So I remember in my last wrap-up video, in my January wrap-up video, I said that I wasn't really thinking I was gonna get a lot done in the month of February because it was only 28 days this year. We didn't have a leap year. Is that a plane? But surprisingly, February ended up being really busy and really crazy, but like in a good way. The weather here in Tennessee is finally starting to get nicer, so more people are coming out, which means more people are coming into where I work, and so we are busier, which is good, because <laughs> it means more money, but also more stress. So it's a little bit like a double-edged sword. It's like a catch-22, I guess, is the more accurate. Starting with my writing goals, I think my goal for January was just to start Project Duo and, or my, my goal that I set in January for February was just to start Project Duo and to get the ball rolling on it. Um, well, the ball has been rolling and I think I'm at 25,000 words, um, if not more, in my first draft. I have finished Act 1. I think I've officially reached the point where I am in Act 2 and I should probably make that a little bit more defined, but I think this, the moment that I have for it actually works perfectly for that. And so yeah, I am moving on to act two. I'm getting into like the nitty gritty stuff. Things are a little bit more, I don't wanna say scary, but like the stakes are getting higher and there's a lot more questions and things that my character is trying to figure out and I'm also really excited because at some point in Act 2 I have it planned to where the perspective of the story is actually going to kind of swap so it's going to go from one of my main characters to the other one then kind of do like a little back and forth for a little bit there so I'm really excited to start writing kind of things from his perspective as well so that will be fun so my goal for March is to obviously continue writing but I'm wondering if maybe my goal should be to reach 50k um, I think 50k is a good good mark yeah <laughs> it's a pretty good mark so i'm gonna say my goal for march because there's a little bit more time i'm gonna say 50k but i got 25k in less than that so you know i'm kind of like what's another 25k i could probably do that in like two weeks i think also too for march because it's been so long since i've done a book review and i have a couple books that i've read that i just really want to talk about I'll probably be putting up a few more book reviews. And then one of my other goals for March is I need to really get back to working on my Hades and Persephone. I miss them so much. And honestly, I think I just need to rework the story a little bit. I, there's just things about it that I think don't really work anymore. And so I want to try doing what I'm doing now for Project Duo where I made the book, the notebook for it, and try and do something based off of that and really give myself more time to really build how I want the characters in the world to be, just because I felt like things weren't where they were supposed to be last time. Now moving on to my reading 
wrap up slash goals. So in the month of February, I did not end up reading Defy the Night like I said I was going to. Nope, I got distracted by another book. And this is another book that I'm probably going to do a book review for because I loved this book. It was so cute and sweet and it's just kind of a fun read. And it's this book right here called You and Me at the End of the World by Brianna Bourne. It's just a really sweet book. Um, I'm, I'll go into more detail in a book review but quick rundown is it's about these two teenagers who wake up in an empty Houston is what they call it. Basically they are the only two people left in this city. There is nobody else and they don't know why. So it's just very interesting to watch them and kind of see how they <laughs> progress through the story. I don't want to turn this too much into a book review because again I'm going to talk about this later but it was a very good book. It was a very sweet book. I loved the two main characters. And yet, I'm not going to get too much into it. I'm not going to get too much into it but it is really good. I highly recommend it if you're looking for just a fun quick cute book to read. This one is so cute, but I will stop with the book review. We'll save that for another day. My goal for the month of March is I need, I want to try and read two books. And I haven't decided what the second book is, but the first book I'm actually already working on is Shatter Me. I see this everywhere on TikTok. This book is always on like their highly recommended lists. And you know, I was just at Barnes and Noble one day and I was like, sure, why not? Is that a helicopter now? So far it's interesting. I'm I'm having a hard time grasping on what time period it's supposed to be taking it place in. If it's supposed to be like an alternate to us. I know it's dystopian, but I don't know if this is like the future or the past or the present or in like a, a whole different world to ours. I'm a little confused on that. I assume hopefully they'll explain later. I don't know, possibly. I'm only, what chapter am I on? I'm only 12 chapters in. But yeah, no, it's not bad so far. So I'm hoping to read this and then I'll probably just pull another book off my shelf to read whenever I finish that one. And third and final goals, wrap up slash goals, is acting goals. February ended up being a lot of fun. <laughs> because I ended up working on two separate film projects and that was really neat because one I auditioned for was for a friend of mine and I was like I don't know if this is weird auditioning for your friend's project but we'll try it and I just sent it in like hey um here's this and he got back to me like a week later and was like you are exactly how I pictured this character good job you're cast and I'm like okay sure yeah I'll take that so that was pretty cool um so that filmed two weekends ago another one uh I got an email for saying that I had been cast and that one surprised me because I did that audition on a whim. I was helping a friend of mine actually audition for it. And I, she was going through the lines and I was like, oh, this actually sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, can I give it a go? And she was like, yeah, sure. And so I did one take. My camera was slightly crooked. It was really not my best self tape, but I guess it worked. I guess it did the trick. <laughs> but it was really cool to kind of have like, you, like a supporting role one day one weekend and then a lead role the next weekend it was I mean it was a little bit hectic they weren't long days but I was on set on Saturday for about seven ish hours something like that which isn't bad I mean that's almost that's just shy of like a you know full work day but no but they were so much fun and they were so different too and I think that's what made it fun is that you know one character was just so different from the other like one is sort of this cool and confident ringleader and the other one was kind of this girl who was kind of put herself in a really bad situation and so it was just kind of fun to like have these weekends where I could go off and be two different people like that was that was really cool and yeah it was a lot of fun so I'm looking forward I'm looking forward to not looking forward to, to seeing how they turn out because I never like watching myself I never like watching myself 
act because you always catch things and you're like oh god why did I do it like that I'm excited to see how it all comes together I think that'll be the fun part is how it all comes together then my goals for March would be again just keep submitting for stuff keeping an eye out for auditions and you know making sure that I have everything I need for that as well as saving up so I can finally get some professional headshots one of my long-term goals for 2022 is getting an agent and seeing if I can if there's an agent out there who will say hey <laughs> you seem nice in order to do that I need professional professional headshots there we go that's how we speak English this is why I think I've always been hardwired to be bilingual because I'm always tripping up my native language so bad I really want to get the headshots done because like I said they are what you need in order to submit yourself to agents and I just think they would be really good to have I guess that can be the goal for March is putting stuff aside so that I can then later in the year finally go get some headshots done and that is it for me those are my goals and my February wrap-ups 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 that's what we're going with thank you all for joining me on this absolutely gorgeous gorgeous day let me know in the comments down below what your goals for March are and if you achieved any of your goals or surpassed any of your goals for February and if you have any good book recommendations for the second book that I want to read throughout the month of March go ahead and leave them down there too because Lord knows <laughs> I don't have enough books Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you want to see more from me, and I know they're not in this video, but you'll see them again from Sitka, Salem, and Koa, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. And I will see y'all in the next one. That will probably be a book review of some kind. I don't know. We'll see. Anywho, whatever it is, I'll see you there. Bye.